Today I'll be showing you how to input dates into your form with Ember Pickaday. Now there are lots of date input helpers for Ember. So why Ember Pickaday? Well, it's very easy to use. You can just put it in there. It's customizable. And you can either type it in the box or select it with the picker. And I'll show you what that means a little bit later. So those are all the reasons. I told you it was easy to get started. Let me show you how easy. So we install the add-on like we do a normal Ember add-on. Then we'll just put our Pickaday input component into our template. And with just that one line, we have a date picker. We can see that we can click on it. We can change the date. We can also change the date by typing it in. And this is really convenient for if we want to say change the year or the month without clicking through all these. So far it looks pretty good, but if you're in America, you're probably reading this as December 4, 2015, when really it's April 12th, 2015. Let's fix that. We can change the format using moment.js's string formatting. So, we can turn this, this is the month, then the day, then the year. Let's go ahead and use that. So now this displays like most Americans are used to seeing it. If you want to make other changes, you just use this format. There is a handy reference right here. Now let's say that you want people to be able to select from here, but you don't want them to be able to type in their own code. We can use the read-only attribute for that. When we set read-only to read-only, now we can choose dates, but we can't edit the field directly. So read-only sets it so that you can only write to it, write to the model with the selector. It's not actually read-only. If you want to completely disable it, then you use disabled equals true. Then we check the results and, uh-oh, there's an error. Now hopefully this will be fixed by the time that this screencast comes out. But if not, you can use this branch I've created. So off screen, I'm gonna install that. And you can see that when we click on it, it does nothing. So it's completely disabled. Another easier to access option is the placeholder. It won't display here, but if we do a new one, it will, uh, if I had made it shorter, helpfully suggest what we're supposed to do. So those aren't all the Pickaday features. There's also UTC time zones, there's localization, and there's testing. And for the observant, you may notice that there is a, the original Pickaday, which has a lot more options, a lot more ways you can configure it. Unfortunately, we can't access all of those. For example, I tried disable weekends and the weekends were not disabled. So Ember Pickaday is a great way to access the power of Pickaday very easily and have some great things like test helpers that are meant for Ember. Unfortunately, you can't access the full power of Pickaday, but I think that trade-off will most likely be worth it for you. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the pro episode where we talk about Ember CLI Flash.